Chronic pain can be a debilitating condition. The condition can impact everything from mood, health, and overall well-being. Unfortunately, many treatment options aren't very effective. Worse, commonly prescribed drugs like opioids are highly addictive. They can cause nausea, sleepiness, and other side effects, and they are potentially deadly. According to the National Institutes of Health, more than 115 people die each day in the United States from opioid overdose. It's become a public health crisis. But what about using marijuana for pain relief? Could that help address the opioid crisis? Inside Science. There is some evidence to suggest that cannabinoids, a class of chemical components in marijuana plants, can be effective in alleviating pain either alongside or in place of opioids. As medical marijuana becomes more accessible in the U.S., it may serve as a safer option for some kinds of pain relief and help reduce the number of people becoming addicted to opioids. But some patients are receiving medical advice from their local dispensary, a trend some doctors are worried about. Instead of their provider giving them information on the cannabis um, in terms of pain relief, they were actually getting their knowledge or obtaining their knowledge from, you know, uh, people that were, um, that had cannabis shops or marijuana type shops. Clinical trials are currently underway to examine dosage, side effects, methods for administering marijuana, and its effectiveness at relieving pain. Armed with clinical evidence, doctors can make reliable recommendations for its use as an alternative to opioids. So we don't know exactly what to prescribe, so we need to know what patients are actually doing so that we know, or physicians know what to prescribe. The other big piece is really, what about drug interactions? So we know that there are some drug-drug interactions that occur. We need to have a better handle on um, what those drug-drug interactions um, actually look like in order to balance the patient's other medications um, that they may be taking. Uh, so that's a big if out there. And, and this kind of research is really important to um, have done in a well-controlled fashion um, because you know exactly what the patient is getting. So you know the THC component, you know how the methods are delivered. Cannabis comes in many different forms. Patients can smoke it, eat it, vape it, or use it topically on the skin. Also, different products have different amounts of THC or CBD, the two most abundant types of cannabinoids found in cannabis. They both interact with the body's endocannabinoid system, but produce different effects. Doctors are now learning what works best for individual patients. Are they consuming um, a THC product with a little bit of CBD? Are they doing, are they utilizing a product that has more CBD and low THC? And, and basically, I think figuring out that ratio uh, for a specific disorder or disease state is also really essential. So we'll never know unless we actually conduct the research to figure all of that out. The bottom line, will pot replace opioids for pain? So I don't think it will completely um, replace opioids for certain types of um, pain, but I think that it probably shares um, a role. So it may decrease the opioid use overall. Um, and in, we might find out that it's a safer option for patients um, than an opioid prescription, which obviously can be lethal uh, for many patients. This is Inside Science. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.